If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. And I'm looking at you and saying, where's that Yankee hat, Donnie Brady? And then I bring him over and I introduce him to the whole crew and I said, Ray, Donnie Brady, Verge, Donnie Brady. And they both looked at each other and said, is that the Donnie Brady? It is the Donnie Brady. What are you doing, man? I'm just poking myself, man. I'm just saying hello to The Donnie Brady. 1996. I didn't know I wore that Yankee hat that much. You pissed me off that night, boy. I'll tell you right now, I was not happy. He wore a Yankee hat out to the barn. I mean, like, when you couldn't get away with that. Now the whole city wears Yankee. I mean, nobody cares about the Orioles anymore. Can you imagine back in the day when you wore that Yankee hat, you would go to a, a, an Oriole game, and you'd be the only Yankee fan there. I mean, you, when you came to Baltimore, the Orioles were the big deal, and, the Ravens, big deal, yeah. and the Ravens were like yeah. purple Barney outfits, the former Browns. You went through all that. trying to figure out what kind of logo they were going to put on the helmet. You, you did wear the Mean Machine outfits? You wore the white and black? Yeah, of course. Those are my favorite unis right there. Man, he looked black like, pants with the white stripes. Looked like Burt Reynolds in a long yard, I think is what it was. How was your life? Donnie Brady, of course, cornerback with the uh, Ravens back in the day. And I mean, I, I'll start throwing some names out. We'll play a little word association, have some fun. How does it make you feel that you were at the beginning of the franchise? And obviously, you were there during some tough times. You were part of some, some defenses that had 40s put up on them and whatnot. We didn't have much of a pass rush. Ray was a puppy. I mean, really a puppy. You were there the first day Ray walked into it. When Ray was just that guy wearing 52 trying to take uh, Pepper Johnson's job, right? Yeah. That's pretty much what it was. And that's what exactly what he said. He came in, I'm taking this job. And that was it? That was it. He knew what he wanted right when he got there. Did you know what he was all about, you know, when you saw him? And, and, and you never know how long your own career is going to be. How many years you played in the league? Four? Uh, four. Uh, three. Three, three and four? Yeah, okay. Three or four. And, and to be able to, to see a, the beginning of a, a Ray Lewis, John Ogden, and Peter Bulware, and to come into Baltimore, we were people were making fun of us. You know what I mean? We were not we were not a real good place to be at that point, playing in the old stadium and the whole thing from a football player's perspective. But the Ravens have become, you know, one of the, the, the franchises I think a lot of franchises that really wanted yeah, to be. Definitely. I think one of the things about it is everybody in that locker room knew that this was gonna happen. I mean, the minute I see saw Ray and met him, I need the guys that wanted to Wally, Zeus, Jeff Blackshear, Vinny Testaverde. We all knew that eventually things were going to turn around. We all we, we knew we could play. It was a good team. Just things wasn't going our way at the time, and that's how the game goes. But I knew that if everybody stayed steady, which the guys that were there still stayed steady, good things would turn out. I think the amazing thing, the amazing gift to me over the course of years has been not just how many good players we've had, but the coaches. When you think of that 96 team now, Marvin Lewis, Jim Schwartz, Kirk Ken Wisenhut, Kirk Ferenz, Kurt Ferenz Pat Hill is out in Fresno State and has made a nice life out there. I mean, that was a hell of a staff we had there in the early going. I mean, even look at even look at the offices. Phil Savage. I mean, so many people. Everybody Eric goes, Costa, George Kukinas, yeah, they were all there. Goes and ends up being successful. So we had a, there was a good thing going over there, and it was a good organization, a good network of guys. What are you doing with yourself, Don? I actually, well, I stopped playing two years ago. I went to Canada after the NFL. I went to Canada and played for the Eskimos for about five years. I remember that. That's right. You did play in Canada. All right. So I went out there. So how was that in hockey town, playing football with the wide yards and rouges? You know, it was a lot of fun. The thing about it is, I started having fun again, and I ended my career winning the championship. So you got a great cup. Yeah, I got two great cups. Nice. Yeah, Way so to go. I went to two, I went to two great. I went to three great cups. One, two. So I had a lot of fun, and I was still doing the sport I love. I got a chance to experience a different culture in Canada. In Canada, so it was good. And then I uh, finished playing two years ago, and I started my own athletic training company back at home in New York. So you are an athletic trainer now. Yeah, athletic motivator, athletic trainer. I train uh, high school kids, professionals, college kids. So I come up the long island. You kick my ass real good. Get me in shape. Yeah, you're gonna get your ass kicked. For sure. <laughs> Just as long as you don't mind getting your ass kicked, you're going to get your ass kicked. Donnie Brady from the original Ravens here was, give us some memories you have of, of, of the early, I mean, all of our memories come in the stands, your memories come on the field, and I mean, well, none of us will ever forget that, that Oakland Raiders game, that first day, having football back, those goofy black pants we were wearing with that crazy font on the jersey. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.